in an increasing culture where we have shorter uh, form things, and I'm, I wonder how that's you know working for you. Um, and the, do do you always want to write long books, or, or how does that work? Uh, it's, uh, it's it's what I do. It's not it's not a matter of wanting to necessarily, but it's um, I think you know I uh, my. Uh, observation is that, um, first of all, there's uh, plenty of long books that appear to do quite well and end up on bestseller lists and, and get adapted into TV shows and movies. So, um, so clearly there's a market for, for great big long books. And um, I think the people who, uh, who read them um, enjoy the sort of indulgence of total immersion, prolonged immersion in a big complicated world. And I think that explains why long-form television has become, you know, yeah. an overwhelmingly popular and successful medium in the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, uh, is precisely because people kind of revel uh, in the opportunity to get lost in a great big fictional universe. And I, the more that we become like the, the land of tweet, Twitter, the, the more that there is this sort of broke, that ADD is sort of celebrated and, and found useful, um, the more we need the long form stuff to bounce, counterbalance that, I think. Yeah, no, I mean, we also see, you know, podcasts obviously that can be hours long um, that are uh, becoming more popular, not less popular. So there seems to be some divergent set of uh, the I, I forms. I think humans that are wired to want that, to get through the long winter nights and so on, and that, and that it, that's in a way just something inside of us is craving that enough that culturally we're returning, we're moving in that direction while we're also going in the other direction to balance it out.